<laughs> you guys hear <laughs> boy run? That's pure excitement. We haven't seen this car running in such a long time. The last time it was running, it was knocking hard. All right, guys, we're starting the S2K rebuild. So this is a um, sub 50,000 mile F22C, which is the AP2 motor. We're putting it into the AP1 S2000. So this originally had a F20C, um, or the AP1 motor. Um, but that's my rod bearing, and uh, got all messed up, so now we're putting a whole new motor in it. Um, the other night we tried putting the trans onto the motor and sliding that in there, but it just was too awkward to fit. So instead we're just gonna put the motor in there first and then we'll have to get underneath and put the trans up on it uh, that way. So. I look like today. What's up? Hi. Oh wait, why am I pumping you? <laughs> then we're in the back, I think. Alright, okay, that's putting a S2000 motor in. Do it. Hell yeah. It's a 10 minute video. So we just dropped the motor into the car, and all we're doing now is tightening the, um, the motor mount. I don't know if you can see. So that's the right motor mount. There's one bolt right there. See right there, and then there's two more that go on the bottom, and that's what Ethan down there is doing. So um, next, we're gonna put the trans on, or what? Uh, we got a load of stuff right now. Okay, so next, while he's down there, he's gonna lower the subframe just a little bit. That way we can rock back, and then we'll attach the trans on it, and then we start putting everything all together. Then, hi, Rero. Hi, puppy. You guys need to come here. Hey, yo, what the hell? Why are you all wet? He's wet, wet too. He's a happy puppy. Had to go get some fuel. Since it's so cold out here, you know. Hey, Spider-Man. I got the You want it? So all we're doing now is we're just trying to get the wiring harness all laid out the way it's supposed to be. Um, luckily we have an identical motor right there. Gang, gang. Everything, everything laid out the way it's supposed to be. So we're just trying to get it back to factory. So um, back to factory, yeah. we're gonna get it better than factory. We're gonna get Ethan factory certified. Ethan home garage certified. Okay. It's gonna have 400 horsepower in it. In stock a. motor in it. <laughs> the I'm add some stickers on it. You know. Just All right, man. <laughs> Let's get back to work. All right, here's a little update. We haven't made much progress, but we're chugging along, trying to put the puzzle back together. 
Um, right now we're trying to figure out what was cut off this motor and what we need to steal from the old engine. Well, you guys a picture I got on the Spider-Man. Shut up, Lily. So this might be a, a take. So this goes mink like that. This shoots down in. It shoots straight down. Like this. So. Okay, so what we're doing right now is right here is part of the fuel rail. I don't know if you can see that. So this goes onto a cap that has a fuel line that goes straight down in between these two intakes right here and it goes down to the fuel rail and what we're having is with the ap1 fuel rail it looks like this whereas the ap2 one in my opinion looks like it was an upgrade from the f20 from the f20c to the f22c um but there's little tabs right here right here that uh, aren't aligning with the tabs that were from the AP1 fuel line. So we have to just fix the tabs that, that were on on this fuel rail to align with the ones that are on. We have to fix the tabs that were on this fuel line that align with the tabs on the uh, AP2 fuel rail. Um, so that's what we're just gonna chop off real quick. And then, pretty much after that, I think we're just plugging in hoses and we're just buttoning everything up. But other than that, we're pretty close to getting it like ready to go. But we just gotta do some little custom things. Custom. So when you look at this right here, there was uh, two tabs that were holding it to the AP1 fuel rail, but for connecting this to the AP2 fuel rail, it's a, just a little bit different because um, the AP1 did not have these tabs right here, and that one kind of wanted to butt up right here, so we just had to chop lop that and. Now it's custom. So, um, as you can see, it just kind of fishes up right there. Just like so. And then I'll screw it on right there. Oh, oh that's how it works. What? All right, so um, after we got that fuel line in, we realized that we needed some more hoses for the fuel return line and some more coolant line. So we ran to AutoZone, got what we needed. $70 worth of hoses. And then we went to Walmart, got all the coolant. That way we can get the system nice, full, and bled. And then we picked up some 10W30 pins oil, good oil. Uh, that's what Ethan likes to run in the S2000s. A lot of people like to run it. Um, pick that up, that way we can do a break-in oil in this motor, which we already have. And then that'll be like the, the final oil that's running in this motor. So, it's already pretty late. I've been up since 
Uh, I've been up since 4.30 and it's almost 10 o'clock and I gotta get up early tomorrow. So I don't know how much later I'm gonna be able to stay for this. So <laughs> we're just chooching along. So not much else to it. All right, so it's currently 10.30. And we have been working on getting all the lines plumbed and everything all buttoned up. There's just a ground we have to attach, plug the battery in. I just plugged all the ECU connections in. Um, it looks, looks kind of sloppy in there, but all of that will still be buttoned up. If you can see that. So it's the AP1 transmission. Uh, paired with the AP1 trans with the AP2 um, motor. So it should be fun. Um, Ethan says that a motor is capable of revving to 8500 RPM with this e ECU, but the the AP AP1 ECU redlines at 9, so um, we just have a little bit to be careful with. So Transmission, then everything else is going back down. So seats, trunks going back together, hard tops going back on. And then the S2K rebuild will be complete. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah. I'm very tired. Where's the key? Right Nothing. <laughs> you know, that's to be expected. time and they're waiting for this. Yes, it fucking has. I wish I could put in. All of it? All of it, yeah. Dude, this fucking hurts my wrist. My forearms aren't beef like, beefy like that. <laughs> Focus. Alright. Nice and green, just like how it was when it came out. Is it green? Yeah. Pink is Ford. Gay Fords. Yeah, no. Fords are gay. I guess we'll be able to see if we have any coolant links. The gas is gonna turn on. It has power. Oh my gosh, dude. Did that just, just die? Off? Dude, I think that battery's flat as a bitch. Probably has a bad cell. Because my charger's saying it has uh, an error. Should we try to crank it? Hold on, I'll get my first. Just hold on. You guys hear that little boy run? That's pure excitement. We haven't seen this car running in such a long time. The last time it was running, it was knocking hard. So, we have pump. power. This battery is trash. With the fuel pump primed, um, 
then you're just looking for leaks now. And then, um... Start it. So it should... Just start it? Just hold on the button for yeah, a second. just hold on the button. I don't think it's gonna start. Oh my gosh. Yeah, probably bad gas. It doesn't have a full seal on the yeah. on the header. Just leave them on, but... Bedtime. Oh my god. 